Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full on, then I'll be happy to watch that. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Rafael Varan. He's solid in the air, Peter. He's tough in the tackle and a very good reader. Of Has a goal! Been off try, a more than decent attempt, Peter. Gundawan. Walker has come steaming up from the back for this. He's had a shot! What a wonderful goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Manchester are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Ericsson. One Bissaka. Battles to win it back. Oh, they can break here. Bruno Fernandes. And it's Rashford. It's wrestled off the ball. Rodri. Gundogan. Now oh, it's Gundawan going through, and they've been caught at Gundawan! And that wasn't far away. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Rashford. Manchester get it back again. Grealish. De Bruyne. Shaw drives it forward. 
Eriksson. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. Ball. Who's going to get there? Gundawan. Shot a goal! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, the look on his face says it all. It's Bernardo Silva. Real chance! He scored! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Manchester grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. It's Gundogan! Oh, that is very close. Gundogan brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Bernardo Silva. He's come loose. Oh, it's Bernardo Silva! And more, and more, and more. And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. Manchester take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight Well, they're very much the better team at the moment Peter and and no doubt will be looking to to cause even more damage here Shaw Walker can hoist it clear He gets past his man Defenders on the back foot It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. He's got away. Laporte gets it back. De Bruyne did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. 
And it's Greenish. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Rashford. Hits one! No, he's missed it. Manchester United are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. Still deserves full marks for making his way through. It was a it was a crack and run. Ericsson. Bruno Fernandes, that's a decent ball, chance! Oh, and with that the half-time whistle goes, as easy as 1-2-3, it really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Manchester are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Now the counter brings it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Rafael Varan. Eriksen. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Laporte. De Bruyne. And he heaves it forward. Rodri. Foden. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. The point is fouled. Game set and match, or so it feels. <laughs> Manchester United have it back and they can go again. And it's Shaw. And that has put pay to that. Shaw has got himself a free kick. Oh, 
Torres. Plays it out to the flank. He's left his man. Lofted into the middle. Rashford. He's got options in the box of a towering header. Back of the net. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Manchester making consecutive changes here. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Oh, he's broken through. Face to face, and the shot! A oh, great save, real class. Sancho really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Bruno Fernandes with the short one. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Mares. Uh, ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Casemiro. Laporte puts his foot on the gas. Mores. And Mores! <laughs> and it's Grealish. De Bruyne. Beautifully done. De Bruyne delivers. And he's there to cut it out. And it's played forward. Out towards the flank. Ruben Diaz. Gets it back. Bruno Fernandes looks to dink one in. Rashford. Walker does well to read it and intercepts. De Bruyne. And it's De Bruyne. Greenish provides an outlet. Up to meet it! Bruno Fernandes. Ericsson. Shaw. Rafael Varan. Casemiro. The forward pass. Hoists it forward. De Bruyne. De Bruyne! Good stop. That wasn't easy. De Bruyne is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment.
Bruno Fernandes already, of course, on the score sheet. Manchester United going about it patiently. Oh, real danger here! Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Ericsson. Mahrez. And the shot! And that is the last effort of the game. Manchester did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Well, how will we look back on that? Manchester made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.